Hey YouTube, what's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in. This is Big Ray Twenty. Um, what you see before you is the Lanzar Opti Seven Hundred by Two. Very loud, very, very clean, but also very hot amplifier. Um, for the price paid, it's still well worth it. Uh, Three fifty plus, well worth the money. But um, it would be wise for any amplifier, any you know, putting your money into it, it's good to put fans inside, especially if they don't have them. Now, I picked up some a Scorpion VD8025 3 inch fans off of eBay. Um, just went ahead and installed them on the inside. I had the clearance, I made sure that the fan nor the screws and bolts that I pre drilled to hold the fans onto the, the back plate was going to be interference to any components inside. I don't want to ground anything out. Um, I don't want to try to help and also hurt the amplifier at the same time. So please be sure if you do install fans inside your amplifiers, make sure that you have the clearance. Now I ran the, the of course the positives for both fans together and both negatives. I went ahead and ran to some 16 gauge speaker wire, heat shrink, and um, zip tied it alongside. Now, the fans, they don't blow extremely hard, but they do exactly what they need to do. And of course, that will be to keep the amp cool. As you see, it didn't move the paper away. It's blowing it. But um, this amplifier had little vents. My The buddy that I bought this amp from, he already had these cut out. So I just went ahead and installed the um, fans. Now, this is the part that gets the hottest, which is why I have the fans over here. And this doesn't get as hot, but if you see, when I put the the fans are off currently. When the fans are on, it's blowing. It's off now. And you see, it travels all the way to this side. Got the paper right there. As soon as the fans kick on. So it's keeping the whole amplifier cool. Which is more than enough. It's going out the side vents as well as traveling through the whole amplifier coming up the opposite end. So I'm hoping that this, I'm pretty sure the way it's working now, as cool as it feels, that I shouldn't have any problems from here. I'm just giving you guys this little tip that if you guys have any amplifiers that may run hot, such as mine's, to prevent yourself from having to repair the amp due to overheating um, just go ahead and invest in the five dollar to six dollar fan and go ahead and um, add it to your application to your um, amplifier it definitely is well well needed it helps and what I'm gonna do is these are the leads that go to the fan I'm using negative with the blue line here I'm going to put that into the negative of the amplifier. I'll take the positive, which is the solid. And I'm going to put it into the remote. And the reason for doing that, remote and ground, is that when the amplifier kicks on, so with the fans. The fans will only come on by being connect by having the positive connected to the remote. The fans will only kick on when the amplifier comes on. If I was to put positive and negative directly at positive and negative on the amplifier then the fans were constantly being on we don't want that so you want to put the positive in the remote the negative which is the ground to the ground of the amplifier and it only comes on when the amp comes on but let's give it a little, another little look 
to the fans. Right now they're off. Let's turn them on right now. Fans are off. This is the opposite end. Fans are on. There you go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. This is Big Jerry 20. Stay tuned for more.